remarkable image today as President Obama got a first-hand look inside this country's criminal justice system in a way no sitting president ever has, walking into a federal prison. He met with a group of inmates at a prison in Oklahoma, all of it to underscore his recent push for criminal justice reform. We get more tonight from our senior White House correspondent, Chris Jancy. It is a dramatic image, the first sitting president ever to walk the halls of a federal penitentiary, looking inside cell 123 and calling for change. We have to reconsider whether 20-year, 30-year life sentences for nonviolent crimes is the best way for us to solve these problems. He's talking about people like Barbara Scrivener. Following a drug bust, she was sentenced to 30 years in prison, leaving behind an infant daughter. I thought um, I would to be blunt, rather be dead than to deal with this. On Monday, President Obama commuted the sentences of 46 nonviolent drug offenders like Barbara. The U.S. is the world's biggest jailer. One out of every 99 Americans is behind bars, the majority of them black or Hispanic, at a cost of about $80 billion a year. Now, reform is getting rare bipartisan support. Today, for the first time, the Speaker of the House got behind criminal justice legislation. Now I'd like to see it on the floor. The president commuted Barbara Scrivener's sentence last year after 20 years, 11 months, and four days away from her daughter. And I had to do it either non-existent or secondhand, and um, it, it was devastating. Now Barbara's in college and an introspective president, after sitting down with prisoners today for an upcoming Vice documentary, says more people should have a second chance. These are young people who made mistakes that aren't that different than the mistakes I made and the mistakes that a lot of you guys made. That's what strikes me. There but for the grace of God. You can hear in the president's voice that this is a moral as well as a legislative priority for him. And when he went inside the cell in the prison behind me, he pointed out it would also help with overcrowding. The room just nine by ten. He says it often has to now house three grown men. Lester. All right, Chris Jansing, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.